Hello everyone and thanks for joining us in Afghan Voice Agency on April 17th. There may be a slight rise in the number of U.S. troops in Afghanistan before the complete withdrawal in order to get logistical, engineering and force protection help for the current boots on the ground, stated the Pentagon. The rise in the number will be similar to the one when the U.S. transitioned in Iraq, but the Pentagon did not provide a specific number, adding that it is necessary to ensure a safe and orderly drawdown. Kibri added that the Department of Defense is still working out what the future bilateral security relationship is going to be with Afghanistan. However, he specified that it will be similar to bilateral relations with other countries without boots on the ground. Hamdullah Muheb, the Afghan National Security Advisor, said the Taliban lost the opportunity for peace they gained after the Doha Agreement last year in February. The Taliban had a great opportunity after the Doha Agreement to be more tolerant and take it as an opportunity to lead their group forward, Muheb said. However, the Taliban began a narrative of victory which was false and arrogant. Muheb said that the peace process must include all the different groups of the Taliban and that no group or faction should or can be excluded. Everyone can be represented in a democratic republic of Afghanistan, Muheb reiterated. The Taliban cannot believe that they will be able to force themselves on the people. However, Iran's Foreign Minister Javad Zarif on Friday said that there is a need for the Taliban to change in democratic ways, as today's Afghanistan is different than it was in 2001. Addressing the rise on a dialogue online conference, Indian External Affairs Minister Jain Shankar at the same event stressed the need for the peace process to be Afghan-led and Afghan-owned. Afghanistan needs a double peace, peace within the country and peace around the country, he said and mentioned that Afghanistan's neighbor must contribute toward this. The commando forces freed 20 military members from Taliban prison in Kashrut district of Nimroz province last night. Seven Taliban, including a commander of them, were killed during the operation. Unfortunately, the prisoners were extensively tortured by the Taliban. According to the Ministry of Defense, 17 of them are Afghan National Army soldiers and three others are Afghan National Police members. This comes as three security force members were killed in a car bomb attack that targeted the police outpost in Zindajan district, Harad province, on Friday night, the provincial governor Wahid Ghatali said. His Islami leader Golbuddin Hikmatyar says the delay in May 1st deadline for U.S. forces withdrawal from Afghanistan has created an environment of mistrust between the U.S. and the Taliban. Calls on the Taliban to continue negotiations with Afghans under any circumstances. Afghan differently abled swimmer Abbas Karimi won a silver medal in the U.S. Pro Swimming Championships. He shown in three sections, 50-meter butterfly, 100-meter and 200-meter freestyle swim. Karimi's last competition is on Sunday. Russia on Friday asked 10 U.S. diplomats to leave the country in retaliation for Washington's expulsion of the same number of Russian diplomats over alleged malign activity and suggested the U.S. ambassador return home for consultations, Reuters reported. Cuban Communist Party leader Raul Castro has announced that he is stepping down and handing leadership to a young generation full of passion and anti-imperialist spirit. The Castro family has led the party since 1961. As I live, I will be ready with my foot in the stirrups to defend the fatherland, the revolution and socialism, Castro told a party delegates at the convention in Havana on Friday. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.